Welcome back. So in the previous video, we checked, uh, we configured a launch configuration setting for our auto scaling group. Now let's do the auto scaling. So for the auto scaling, uh, so it's not a global service, it's the um, regional. So we can, we're going to click on create auto scale group. Before we create this, let me quickly show you if my any of my EC2 instances are running. So you can see there are none. Since I don't have a way of uh, uh, stressing my EC2 instances, uh, I could technically, uh, you know, try to open the, some, uh, access my website while putting the, uh, the, CPU <clears throat> to maybe five percent or ten percent that should, in theory, trigger more AC2 instances. So, but uh, this is a good test. I'm I have no instances running here. Uh, this is AC2, yeah, there are none. So, but you do see that I have one stopped, so but none running. So, technically, uh, creating this should trigger. Uh, my EC2 instances. So uh, for the auto scaling group name, I'm gonna put it WordPress auto scale. And for the launch template, I don't have any. Create a launch template. I did. I have. That's uh, embarrassing and weird. So switch to launch configuration. Launch template. Uh, let's refresh it. Still nothing. <coughs> I created one. Ah, launch template, launch configuration. Now I have the one that I created. So you have to click this one for some reason. Maybe it was creating a new one. Anyways, you can see I had the WordPress launch configuration show up here. It's created this date. I, I created just maybe uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. And the security group is this one. The instance type is TD micro, uh, t2.micro. Uh, let's go create next for the VPC. We're gonna put it in our default one for the subnet We can select all of them Actually, why I'm selecting all of them. You can see that uh, where it is uh, Is the availability zones 2a 2b 2c so I want to maximize my availabilities, uh, my redundancy of my instances. So if uh, one particular server is already uh, experiencing high traffic, I want mine to other instance to launch in a totally different uh, availability zone, another data center to go up. So, you know, just to make sure that uh, it they are spread across evenly. Oh, and, uh, you can create more if you want to. Let's go no load balancer attached to an existing load balancer and or you can create a new one. I'm gonna create attach to a existing one because uh, if you if I have more than one going live then I want mine to have a load balancer as well because load balance is the one that's going to send traffic to different instances and not to just one and this so choose from, you have two options, network load balancer, and these are the new ones, this is the classic one, so I'm gonna click here, and I have one already. If you remember from the previous video, if not, please go check those videos. Health check, I it's checking EC2 instance health check. I'm gonna check the elastic load balancer health check as well, and we're gonna, you can set up CloudWatch if you want. It, CloudWatch is basically just monitors the health of your cloud infrastructure. I don't want to do it right now and group size optional you have desired capacity minimum capacity maximum capacity auto scaling group so desired capacity is right now one I want to um, let's go maximum capacity we put it as four so the maximum is that basically do not launch any more if my total EC2 instance has been four and desired capacity, let's make it two. Track scaling policy, none. If you want to skip, you know, tracking, target uh, tracking, you can do it. 
instant scale in protection these are the two advanced uh, settings for cloud practitioners so we're going to skip this and add notification notification is that uh, you will receive a notification through sns uh, that is simple notification service of aws that hey your site was experiencing a uh, high volume we just uh, scaled up uh, scaled out um, scaled out it should be not be scaled up scaled up is uh, getting a more powerful cpu and scale out means uh, getting a copy of the current can, uh, your virtual machine so i'm going to skip this one because not notification we are not in production so tags tags is very important uh, in the previous we haven't been adding tags but uh, uh, these uh, in production like I said in production they are very important we, we're gonna skip it just like we have been but uh, if you're in production it is very important do tag them so this is the review you can see everything here everything looks good you can go up and down read all everything it's basically of uh, everything you have done in the previous steps create auto scaling group now this group is going live created oh okay it's just uh, so updating capacity right now uh, it says we we set up the capacity to be two ec2 instances and the status is updating capacity in theory if everything has gone good i should see two ec2 instances spun up now there are running none mm, running hmm. none that's uh, I'm gonna give it time I'm gonna go back to auto scaling and we're gonna wait for updating capacity I'm gonna pause the video here and I want to make sure that this <coughs> uh, the status comes green let's pause the video here before I pause the video let me go to my load balancer and try to access one website and see if that helps load balancer Because uh, if you remember, we put uh, our EC2 instance with the load balancer. So let's go try to open website for 543 service temporarily unavailable because all of our servers are down. So let's go in here and the auto scaling group. And okay, now I have two instances up status i believe it should be two by two green let's check the ec2 instances and i have two running now i don't know if uh, this triggered it or not but i have two running the status check is initializing and uh, like i said if everything is gone good i should see that if wordpress uh, blog of mine that's uh, in there and if i remove this filter you will see total three one i stopped it the other two they are running so it's initializing let's pause the video here so it's been a good couple of minutes i'm going to try to refresh and see if i have the checks two by two so let's go and refresh this uh, load balancer one more time and see if we get the wordpress and i have my wordpress here so if i quickly try to Oh, I, I for the auto scaling group launch configuration. Let's see. This should be what was the uh, load uh, WordPress launch? I want to see the uh, copy launch configuration. Like, what's the uh, I want to find out what's the criteria uh, when it will spun more when it will spin more uh, easy twos launch configuration so I guess uh, I missed that Time configuration name I guess we missed that token hop limit. 
Mod configuration. Must be in auto scaling then. Automatic scaling. Action. Enable. Add policy. average CPU utilization. So this is the one I was trying to find out. For the scaling policy, you have to go in uh, from the auto scaling, you create a policy. Right now it's set to target value, like if the EC2 instance CPU utilization is 50%, it will go and spin more. So I don't know if randomly clicking this, we will have more uh, EC2 instances, so to management let's see how many I have here I have still two uh, in theory let's do a little bit of a fun experience experiment five person create I probably will have to attach it as well edit it uh, add policy oh it was target tracking policy that we missed if you remember so that is the target tracking policy CPU that we should have added in the first place but it's good let's uh, uh action if i click here and click in it's already enabled okay that's good it's already enabled so now if i go here oh there it is ec2 instance paste and go Random clicks. And if I go see the auto scaling group, any more coming up? Looks like no. I already have two. Oh, desired capacity is two. Desired capacity right now is two. And uh, we wanted the maximum four. I guess that's not going to happen. I cannot stress my instances, but that's good enough. Uh, let's uh, terminate it. That's good enough. We know that auto scaling is working. That's how they went to up. Uh, I have no way of stress testing my website, so otherwise I will see, you know, more going up. Uh, I will try to find uh, something to stress out my CPUs. But uh, for now, this is good enough. I'm going to wrap this video here. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.